here. Another little uh, saber trick for you. Um, this is about spinning a saber staff here. Um, when we are going through the orbits, because we don't want to touch the second blade, what normally tries, has to happen is we got to keep that elbow kind of way up. And that can be uncomfortable for some people as they go around so that you don't hit. Go this way here, like this. There, it may look a little awkward or or, or what have you, but uh, it is as long as we keep don't shrug our shoulders, we're okay. Um, <clears throat> but there is a way that we can kind of get away from doing that, and um, if we uh, look at the way the grip works, we can kind of figure that out. So as the orbit goes around, what I'm really doing is starting over here on the zone two and five side okay i'm turning it around i'm tucking it underneath like that i'm then continuing it down pointing to the ground and then pointing it to the other foot now i have to keep this out here so that i don't go here with a regular stick i just tuck it underneath the arm i come down here i get this to the point where it's coming more towards the towards the front then I unwind that way, and I do the same thing over on this side. Okay. Now, doing that, I'm staying in essentially <clears throat> uh, a palm down grip. I can also be in a palm up grip. Now, notice when I do a palm up grip with this hand or with this hand, I can now come to the outside of my arm. Okay. Then over on this side, this is the elbow. Now that is going to have to cock up. And that has to do with the position of this hand. So if we can come up with a nice smooth transition for these hands, then you can kind of stay on the outside pretty much the entire time. Now with stick, we don't want to do that. Right? That's kind of considered cheating or whatever. People do it and all that. But with the saber staff, I think we should allow it because it allows us to move it much. Oh, and I'm hitting myself already. Um, <clears throat> allows us to move much smoother. Right? And as long as we are uh, keeping a good grip, we're okay. So, how do we do it? We can start here in this grip and start doing the basic kayak paddle type of thing. Now, as my arm comes up and over, I'm gonna accentuate this bottom hand. Now, keep my palm against the grip there and rotate it underneath, you see? And then the hand comes through like that. Then I'm gonna come over to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing here with this hand. Whoops. Then I'm going to grip with this hand and come over here. So turn like that, then turn like that. See? Then <clears throat> I'll just go up here. So for here, we're going turn grip, turn, grip, go around, turn, grip, turn, grip. And you can go bottom one, top one, first, whichever one, but always remember you want to have one hand always firmly on the saber. So as I'm going around here, I'll go, I'll start here like this. I switch the top, I switch the bottom. I switch the top, I switch the bottom. I switch the top, I switch the bottom. Now here, this is where I'm switching it here. Okay, in this part of the arc, right there. Okay. This puts this in a nice position here. I'm gripping it here. If I encounter uh, resistance here, I've got it. Okay, and then 
boom, now I come up, whoop, I'm more like this. Now I'm pushing it through here. Now I can hold on with this hand and I can just keep it there. You see? So <clears throat> we keep our hands against the saber at all times. And you don't necessarily have to do it every time. But as I'm going through here like this, you can see that it definitely makes a difference. All right. Now, technically speaking, saber staff can be done one-handed, and that's probably the quickest way to do that, pull the end in the middle. Right? If you put your hands really close together, you can get kind of a baton type of roll like that. Okay, you see how I can let go and grab back onto the saber there. Okay. I can move back out into a kind of finger roll. Well, that's, that's the palm roll that we were doing here. Then if I go here, I can roll it over onto the back of the hand and there. So, show that one again. Come through here. <clears throat> I go to the back of the hand. Then notice as this comes out, I just close the hand there. As this one closes, this one opens. And we're back there. And again, over the top, then over the top. Okay? Doesn't matter which one goes first, top one, bottom one. Um, experiment with both. Just remember, always got one hand on the hill. Okay, so there we go. A little trick to help keep you from whacking yourself too much when doing uh, the orbit. It, of course, is easier with the upward because our blades generally do not have to tuck underneath. Um, and so that's why we don't necessarily have to do it there. Okay. All right, so there you go. Uh, stay safe, practice hard, patience, practice, perseverance. Happy savoring.